Ooh, ooh, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some Modern Warfare beta gameplay. That's right, this game had a beta, and for those of you who haven't played the beta before, well, this is it. This is a little different than the final product that you guys are playing now. You're gonna see a couple differences here and there, and I'm not that good on the beta. Keep in mind, the game just came out, which I said a beta just came out during this time, and I'm still trying to get the hang of it, but yeah, this is beta gameplay. So, this is going to be the very first Devontos Thoughts video from my return on YouTube. And keep in mind, this is strictly my thoughts and my opinions. You are free to disagree. You can post your thoughts and the opinions in the comments. Don't think I'm going to reply to all of them. I try to read as many as I can. If you're being very negative or hateful towards me, I'm just going to ignore you because I don't give a shit about you. So especially if you're negative. And, well, you don't have to watch. So... You don't have to watch, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. Press that dislike button for all I care, I don't give a shit. So, I'm actually going to talk about artists. That's right, people who like to draw and post things on the internet. Artists are huge on Reddit, Twitter, and uh, any other social media platform. I don't know if they're big on Facebook, I haven't been on Facebook in years, but yeah, they're pretty big on Twitter and Reddit. So, there's something that artists do that they, they don't make no sense. They get angry. When you take their work and you don't give them credit, right? Now, I, I can understand why you would get angry from that aspect of somebody taking your work and not giving you credit. But at the end of the day, that's your fault. Hear me out. The reason why it's your fault and you shouldn't be getting mad at it is it's your artwork. You post it on the internet for free for everybody to view so they can simply just save the image and use it as they please and you don't even gotta know nothing. They could just do it on a whim. Even if it's something that stops you from saving images like Pinterest. If you have a Pinterest, you can't save Pinterest images unless you make a Pinterest account. However, Devontos doesn't have a Pinterest account and I still save Pinterest images. How? Just take a screenshot of it on your phone. Crop out the uh, margins that show the website and all that stuff and there you go. You got a high quality Pinterest image. So if you're going to go post your stuff on the internet for free, don't get upset when someone steals it from you because it's, it's equivalent to this. Imagine you just got yourself a big heap of cash and you want to start collecting something valuable. Let's say you want to collect consoles. So you buy yourself 10 PlayStation 4s, 10 Xbox and 10 Nintendos and you just leave it right on your driveway. And you want the whole world to see your collection that you're so proud of. The same way you want the world to see that picture you're so proud of. And you just leave it out there with a big sign that says, My Gaming Collection! The same way you post your pictures online and say, Check out my new artwork. You go to sleep the next day, or in internet standards, you log off for the day. And then when you wake up the next morning, your whole console stash is gone! Or in internet standards, when you wake up the next day, you see your picture being used in all these people's profiles and they're not giving you credit. And then you run out in your driveway and you scream at the top of your lungs, Why aren't you giving me credit for buying you consoles? Ain't nobody gonna do that. They see it's a nice console, they gonna take it. The same way they see it's a nice picture, and they gonna take it. There are a few things you can do to actually stop this from happening, and I don't know why these artists don't think of this stuff because it's so simple. One, sign your work. You can leave your little signature at the bottom of the picture, and if you don't want it to get cropped out, leave it somewhere in the picture. Maybe give a name tag that says, Hello, my name is... and you put your signature there. You can watermark your work. For those of you who don't know what watermark is, it's basically like a transparent signature that can be slapped on, uh, on anywhere on the picture. Now, I know there are people who are saying, Yeah, but you can edit that stuff out, genius! Okay, so... Make a Patreon and have people pay for your work. That way, they pay you up front and then get the product, just like a restaurant. You go to McDonald's and they ain't giving you no damn burger until you cough up the cash first. Do the same thing with your artwork. We have these simple artists getting mad just because their art's getting stolen, but they don't think, oh, I posted it on the internet for free. Of course it's gonna get stolen. Those people, these people don't think. I was like, I, I'm, I, I do that all the time. Hell, some of my profile pictures that I find up on Twitter, I just steal. And I don't give no credit to nobody, because nobody told them to put it on the internet for free. 
And then sometimes you confront the artist that had his work stolen. You know, he's throwing a big fit and you tell him what he did wrong. You know, you didn't make a watermark. You shouldn't make a page one. He gets angry at you. And then he says, You, yeah, but I never stole art. Bitch, yes you did. Yes you did. I could look through your entire profile, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, no, no matter where it is. I can look through your entire profile. And I guarantee there is going to be some pictures that you just took and posted and be like this is how i'm feeling today and it's just some cartoon that you happen to find off google images and there is no credit to whoever that person is on your post it's the same exact thing it just matters when it happens to you because a lot of people are big-headed and they only think about themselves and they don't care about nobody else it could be a simple little stick figure if you didn't draw that stick man you got to give credit to the artist, because it may not be art to you, but as far as we know, probably a handicapped disabled little boy tried to make that stick figure and he found it to be his very first work of art. And you just gonna go out and steal it like a careless ass and be like, oh it's just a stick figure. The same way those people take your pictures and be like, oh it's just a picture of this character or that character because they don't care how much work you put into it. The same way you don't care how much work went into that specific stick figure, regardless of who drew it. And even if you do know who drew that little stick figure, take it from me, not everybody is gonna do this, because we ain't gonna have the time and we wouldn't have the patience to do stuff like this. We ain't gonna be like, oh, look at this nice picture of Sonic the Hedgehog, let me reverse image search it. Make sure I get the original source, and then I'm gonna post it on my page and be like, the creator of this beautiful Sonic picture is so on. So if ain't nobody gonna do that, the best thing you can do, if you're too lazy to make a Patreon, and you don't want to add a watermark, and you don't want to sign your work because it makes everything look too authentic, and you just want to look laid back and relaxed, and it's just your style, if you don't want to do any of that, and you don't want your art stolen, the best thing, and the simplest thing you can do, is just don't post your art on the internet. Because people go and steal it whether you like it or not. And yeah, I'm one of them. Oh, here's a good one, and it all falls within the same topic. You know them apps you can download, probably in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, and it's something that goes along the lines of 1,000 free wallpapers, and you just download that app, and you have like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of wallpapers, and you just click on it, and that's gonna be your new phone wallpaper, or lock screen, or whatever. Well, you didn't make that art. So every time you take out your phone, and somebody sees that picture on your phone that you didn't make, and they say, oh, that's a nice wallpaper, you gotta stop them in their tracks, and you gotta be like, oh no, I didn't make that picture. All the credit goes to SpicyNug77 on Reddit, or wherever he's from. You gotta stop your friend, tell them who made it, because you gotta give credit to the artist. So none of y'all artists better be complaining if you do any of that. And there's a lot of other things that I can toss in here too. So you don't complain when people take your art, because I know every single one of you at some point in your life, you stole someone's art. You put it on display, either as your phone, as a wallpaper, or lock screen, the same way that people take your art and put it on their page or their profile picture, and you ain't give nobody credit. How about posters? You got some posters in your room? Well, next time you have a visitor and the visitor goes in your room and they're like, Oh, I like that poster! You stop them in your tracks and you say, No, 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 no. Don't give me that compliment. Look at the very bottom of the poster and give credit to the artist. It should be a very small fine print text at the very bottom of your poster. Tell that to them. And tell them that thank you, that little compliment you gave me, that ain't mine, uh-uh. That goes to the artist. You have to credit the artist. What about a calendar? Ooh, everybody has calendars. And I know you ain't take them pictures on your calendar. Whether it be mountains, or beaches, or anime pictures, or whatever kind of calendar you got. I know you ain't take them pictures. So next time you got a visitor come over and be like, I like your calendar. You gotta stop them. And you gotta be like, no, uh Thanks, but I can't accept that compliment. That compliment's supposed to go to the person who took them pictures. So you gotta look in the back of the calendar or underneath the pictures, or wherever else there might be a signature or a text, and you gotta point it out at your friend, and you can be like, this is the person who needs the credit. Not me, 
So whatever you got to say, you got to go to their website and tell them I love your pictures. Because you artists expect the exact same thing. Remember, always give credit to the artist, no matter what it is. If somebody took it, somebody made it, it's art. And just like you, they all deserve credit. So if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan. Leave your comment in the section below. I don't care if you hate me or not, it's just my thoughts and opinions. Dislike it, like it, subscribe, unsubscribe, I don't give a shit. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.